There we go. We're recording. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Rock Metal Podcast. I'm your host, John Harris, and today on the Rock Metal Podcast, we have Wheel. They have a new album called Preserved in Time, which is released on April 9th via Cruz del Sur Music. Right now, I'm being joined by Benjamin to share some more information about this release, about what the band has got going on, what their massive, huge, throbbing plans are for the rest of the year. So, Benjamin, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Hi. <laughs> well, hello. Great to have you on. I dig the stuff. Um, as simple as it is, I love the artwork on the record. Yeah, it's, this um, Art Nouveau style, that was, um, we had it on our first album and uh, we want to continue with that style because of this, uh, well, it's distinguishable and um it's a little bit different from uh the typical metal covers you have you like well guys fighting a dragon or something and uh we wanted something different and this fits the music quite well i think Mm-hmm. i completely agree and uh i know i just said the word and but i don't even think i i needed to say anything i dig it if i were to look at this cover long enough you know the the eye trick where some people see a young lady, but other people see an yeah. old woman. It would I see an old man if I look at this long enough, or is it always a young woman? I haven't recognized that. I've always seen the lady, actually. So. <laughs> cool. Now, I guess my big concrete question is: You said this was a continuation from the last album. <laughs> Was there anything that you guys wanted to do differently with this album? Uh, uh, happy with the sound from the last album, so um, uh, we wanted to, this album to be a more uh, more heavier and uh, more in a focused way of like songwriting and stuff like that. In the, in the, the last album was like we had some long. and um, some other fancy stuff. We just cut out all that, and um, now it's just a doom metal record all and over. So that was the plan, and I think it went out well. Mm-hmm. Did you guys end up recording this in 2020, or was it uh, recorded already before 2020 happened? I know. The actual recording process just started in 2020. We started in, I think it was October, and... Uh, then we took like several sessions and nailed it there until um, I think spring 21 was the last session for vocals, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think that's the case. Cool. So then this is a pretty fresh record right off the press as we're listening to it. Well, it's not that fresh anymore because a lot of the songs are a little bit older. Um, the songwriting for this uh, already started when we finished our last record, Echoes, back in, what was it, like 2013? Yes, back 2013. Mm-hmm. Yep. The latest song, Daedalus, is uh, the oldest one on this record. It dated back to, like, well, the end of 2013, I think it is. Yeah, so. Now, maybe it's a personal question, but... 2013 at this point that's eight years yeah i know it's a pretty great gap to fill it i know and um yeah we took our time certainly but there are other reasons why it took so long because so three or four members got children then uh and found family and um some got uh, different jobs and um yeah we don't. We felt like we do not need to rush things this much anymore because there are so many new bands emerging and so many new bands popping up every week. So we just thought, uh, let's take our time and um, maybe wait and let the sing- songs sink in a little bit more to just be sure that they are good in the end. So it's even longer now than we predicted, but in the end it turned out, I think, just as we wanted them to sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did that give you guys considerable time to, I don't know, 
rewrite the songs? Like, at what point did you stop working on the music and just record it and get it done? I think that it was, um, like, mm, 2019, probably, I think. And um, from that point, um, we were pretty sure about uh, the, the songs, and uh, we just uh, rehearsed them over and over to be uh, comfortable with them. And then we, uh, yeah, then we uh, put them down. Cool. Now, I'm curious, Preserved in Time, and the artwork obviously shows a hourglass with a, with a lady yes. on it. What is this record about? Does this record have a theme? Well, um, yeah, not, uh, maybe global theme. Um, it's um, about a uh, time seen as a vessel for like all that we achieved and all that we are, and um, that's all like in this hourglass. So um, it makes you uh, think maybe about what you done in life and what you achieved, and so this is uh, seen as a metaphor maybe for. Like um, like your life and what you you did, it's always uh, preserved in time as long as someone remembers it. That's true. That's very true. Now, this first track that was released off of the record that is at the time of recording available on to listen to on Bandcamp. Um, at night, they came upon us. It sounds so. Yeah. So ominous, Benjamin. So dreadful. What What in the world is going on? Who are they? What were we doing? Well, this is a uh, to solo to Turnus, the first record. I think everyone knows what I'm talking about. Uh, to Turnus song in the veins of uh, like uh, Robert Love would sing it and uh, this is uh, something that we always wanted to have a, like a classic doom metal song in the beginning that when everyone knows where the direction goes so um, I think um, vocally wise it's um, one of the best songs from the album and um so this title. Yeah. The other track that we wanted to chat about today was She Left in Silence. Is this the lady on the front cover? She's no longer there now? She's left in silence? I know. Uh, drastic. It's about um, a girl uh, that uh, was raped and uh, now I seek uh, shelter in... Um, in a dream, telling her story from that perspective of so, um, yeah, um, like I said before, uh, and our singer Acadius um, is drawing inspiration from real, real life events like um, like that. And this is uh, a very, uh, real like uh, touching or really sad story he's telling there. Yeah. Is this record full of these kinds of stories? Yeah, God. Our themes all, um, not always about this uh, drastic matters, but um, all uh, are really based on personal experiences or real life lifetime events. Yes, this. Okay. Groovy. Let me see if I have any other questions, because we seem to have just answered the ones that I had so so lovely. All right. Because um, we chatted about, well, initially, but actually before we hit record, we chatted about how life is with, you know, the kids and COVID and whatnot. Um, your family's been safe? You guys haven't had COVID or yes. anything? No, actually, luckily not. <laughs> We're all safe here, and all um, of my bandmates are safe, too. We're not allowed to uh, rehearse at the moment because, um, yeah, restrictions are there, of course. And um, but um, I hope that uh, if uh, the vaccination going on quicker than before, we can uh, soon start to rehearse again and 
normal lives just getting back to us. Yeah. Okay. What else did we chat about? Art Nouveau style for the uh, the album cover. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. Is there anything that you wanted to chat about in particular about the record, Benjamin? Well, um, I've been pretty uh, surprised that the, um, um, the response was pretty good, actually, and um, we are not the kind of band that is... Uh, uh, there and uh, making a lot of noise on the internet or social media. So um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with all of that now, and um, yeah, I hope uh, the Doom folk will enjoy it. It's always been a small group of people that listen to this uh, kind of music, uh, and um, yeah, I hope this group of people will dig it. Yeah. So I have nothing specifically to at here <laughs> okay what are you guys' plans for the rest of the year i know things are a bit murky but given the circumstances yeah. um what what does wheel look like for the rest of the year it's hard to predict i mean like how is it going on um if there's a so lockdown continues here uh pretty nothing will happen <laughs> so um well if the uh, restrictions will uh be lifted or We'll probably do a, um, a re album release show here, or uh, some live shows around the area. Um, these are the plans. So just seeing it like doing small steps right now. I'm not seeing the a big picture here in this moment in this situation right now because it's not predictable at all. It could go from this to that. So. I have no idea how it's going on with the live scene here, especially. A lot of clubs are struggling, and um, a lot of promoters are struggling with this whole situation. So I have no idea. <laughs> I hope for the best. Yeah. All right. Well, in hoping for the best, I just wanted to thank you then for coming on to the Rock Metal Podcast today. All right. I thank you for having us. Or me. <laughs> Whatever. Hello, hello, or should I say goodbye, goodbye? Thank you so much for listening to the Rock Metal Podcast. I've been your host, John Harris. Please head over to our website at www.therockmetalpodcast.ca. There you can sign up for our newsletter and find out more information about today's show.